it's becoming like LA, bro. Yes, Straight out. Yes, yes. I, you, I would, I would not be surprised if the paparazzi starts coming to these people that are f- on TikTok. Yeah, but they could be a t- TMZ in the area. They like, could start being TMZ in the area. Meet and greets. And I think to myself, what a wonderful. The Lebby Podcast is the best podcast in the area, and you can't change my mind. Straight out, I got mugs, bro. You got mugs? Uh, I know it's not a good way to Did start I need the podcast. To know that? I know it's not a good way to start the podcast, but I got mugs, bro. That's and I feel like every Lebo has mugs. That's single-handedly <laughs> the worst way to start a podcast. No, but listen, I think I think every single Lebo in the area, mm. you tell them how you're going. The most common response is not "I'm good." It's "I got mugs." What's the most common response? Is it I got mugs? I got mugs. <laughs> is it B? I just uh, had garlic sauce. Is it C? <laughs> no, it's I got magas. And I got magas now. You know why I got magas? Because I had a protein cookie. Have you ever had one of those protein cookies? Yeah, yeah. And let's say, let's just say I've never, like I've never had one that's like, fuck this Bro, is Bro, this protein cookie has 25 grams of protein in it. Protein in it. Mm. Plus, it's got freaking like 400 calories or something. And this cookie is a choc chip cookie. And mm. it's nice. What I'm looking for, I'm trying to look for snacks that have high protein and are good for you. And are nice. And that's what I'm trying to do. But the thing with this man, cookie is, no one told me about, you know now how I'm trying to get 200 grams of protein in a day? Yeah. No one told me about protein farts. <laughs> have you ever had a protein fart? I never had one yes, till recently. I have. Bro, yeah. you are freaking toxic. You can kill someone with a freaking <laughs> protein fart. Oh yeah. I've, I'm bro, telling even, you. Even after a protein shake. Have you had a protein shake? Bro. Like a chocolate. Any, you know chocolate? Anything. Oh, I mean, any form of protein, whether it's a protein shake, a protein bar, or a protein cookie. If you have one of those and then chuck a freaking massive fart after that, oh, you best one. believe you will kick anyone out is of the it, room. Is it worse than farting after having boiled eggs? Yes, it is. I'm telling Ooh, you, protein be farts... Cool, be cool. I don't understand the science behind it, yeah? Mm. But I'm telling you, protein farts are enough to put an old person to sleep. <laughs> Probably put them to, like, <laughs> gone. It's enough well. to, to... To incapacitate someone. Yeah. I'm telling you, a protein fart is lethal, It's bro. got more force than a knee from Bro, Masvidal. this protein fart, Flying I'm telling knee. you. So I'm sitting there, yeah? And I'm sitting yeah. in my car. And, you know, you sit in your car alone sometimes, you fart. No, you're, you're the only one in the freaking car. Who's going to smell it? Yeah. So I'm sitting in my car. I just had, I had a protein bar. I had a protein cookie before I left work. Mm. And this protein cookie, I'm telling you, bro, it gave me the biggest magas. And I was like, bro. You ripped on? Well, I've never felt magas. Yeah, I always hear these labos talking about magas, magas, yeah. magas. I have never felt magas until today. And now I know what magas is. No, you, you know. Magas is the worst. You know, it's bad when you, when you rip one and you're like, fuck, that's a stinky one. I'm, a, I'm such a stinky one. Bro, guy. usually you can bear your own farts. Yeah, but uh, when I you. Think, when I you think yourself... it's a thing about farts, yeah? yeah? When you fart, you bear your own fart. But when mm. it's a protein fight, you can't even stand yourself. No, you, you can't. You can't stand the sight of yourself. You can't stand anything about yourself. It's like, fuck. It's no longer impressed because like before you fight, you're like, oh, that's, that's a good one. Yeah, but, but, <laughs> but after a protein <laughs> fight, you're like, wow, what am I doing with my fuck life? The stinky you're cat. like, bro, I, I'm, I'm a fucking mess. Yeah. You look at yourself, you're like, I'm a mess. You <laughs> literally, that's what you do. That's when you know it's bad. It's like, how the hell did we start this pro- this podcast? You started, you, I blame it on you. You started it with Magas. I don't how know, bro. It. It's the first thing that came to mind that's when exactly we started. That's exactly how we got here. Honestly, we never planned this shit. I, I, don't, I don't know what we're going to talk about on this podcast. We haven't planned it. Let's just like... Let's just go with the let's flow. Let's just go for everything. But why did I start with protein farts? Why? You know why? Because you're getting on the protein thing. No, because bro, eating 200 grams of protein is hard itself. Mm. Farting is even worse than that. That's the worst part about having protein. Yeah. And uh, it's always farts, like the, the protein that's like, the, as you said, like the, the shake... The, the chocolate, chocolate, the chocolate the shake, bro. It's a chocolate shake. I like, like the chocolate stuff. Have you had the man shake? The the no, I d- sorry. The chocolate free one. plug. All right, fucking man shake. Free plug, bro. It's fucking Adam McDougal. Free pl- free clout. Free clout. It's, it's Adam McDougal. Ex- Fuck Adam McDougal. Ex- <laughs> <laughs> He's the boldy guy. <laughs> yeah. Fuck that cunt, bro. Anyway, a guys, <laughs> we didn't do the intro. Welcome back to the best podcast in the area. Honestly, that's a fact that that, that you can't deny it. We are the best podcast Listen, bro, in the area. We got when is the area awards going to come out? When are they going to make awards in the area? Because at the moment, the we're, area we're needs awards. It needs an awards yeah, night. You know, you obviously you Everyone's need, a fucking actor. You've got to have the best podcast. You've got to have the biggest shit talker. We all know who's going to get that. Yeah. Guys, we interrupt this program again. Yes, to bring Once a word again. from our sponsors. Manscaped. Who else would sponsor us? Manscaped, That's your it. balls will thank you. All right? Imagine shaving with a sleek, well-designed, and optimized trimmer that makes shaving your favorite time in the bathroom. I know it's not my favorite time. Is it your favorite time in the bathroom? It sure is. With Manscaped? <laughs> I, look, I'm one of the first <laughs> I'm one of the first people to try the new 4.0, and honestly, I'm blown away by but the performance. But you're holding the 3.0. 
This is the 4.0, guys. But I've used the 4.0 as well. Because that's <laughs> the thing. With Manscaped, you don't know whether it's the 3.0, the 4.0, because they're all just as good as each other. I mean, but the 3.0 is good, but have you, th- have you seen the 4.0? Because it has an upgraded trimmer, includes a multifunction on and off switch that can engage a travel lock. It Ooh. also gives you the ability to turn the 4000K LED LED spotlight on this, and off. Did you say LED? Well... LED. I used to always call it LED, but anyway, we'll get to that another time. But LED spotlight on and off when needed for a precise shave. Listen, listen. The Lawnmower 4.0 even allows you to customize your trim, whether you like wow. it long or short. Additional I mean, guard length. What if you like a fade? With sizes 1 to 4. You want to fade your balls? What fade if you want balls. a skin fade on the balls? Go for it. I, I was always <laughs> a fan of the skin fade on the balls. But you know what's <laughs> the good part? Shit, you can I do a skin fade without nicks or cuts. Yeah, it of reduces, course, because it's a well-designed, engineered by an engineer, and I'm an engineer. I say this every single time. But guys, honestly, we have a limited time offer just for you guys, just for the Lebby listeners. So go to manscaped.com and you get 20% off plus free shipping. How crazy That's is that? Right. You, you never get free shipping. I mean, it's always 20 bucks for shipping, 30 bucks for shipping, even 50 bucks for shipping. Right. But listen, you get free shipping and 20% off if you use the code, code Lebby at manscaped.com. That's 20% off with, street, with free shipping at manscaped.com. Use the code Lebby, unlock your confidence, and always use the right tools for the job with Manscaped. Now back to the podcast. Yep. I don't have to say it. We don't have to say that. The biggest... Um, biggest no, nose. I'll no, probably get that one as well. Biggest no talents. I, I probably know. I can name a few <laughs> I can know, but I don't want to say anything. But you know what? They should do an area awards. They should. For like hey. the TikTok area awards. Right, you know what I mean? In general... So, the most um, who would be like uh, the most annoying? We already know who that is. Who? Oh, I really have <laughs> who to would be? Tip. Who would be the biggest? P- p- actually, I don't want to say that one. But we know oh, who that yeah. is. The biggest. Person. The biggest pet. 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 Pe- pe- oh, okay. Yeah. Now <laughs> I know. Do you want me to say the whole word? <laughs> I don't want to say the whole word. Pet. Pet. What, what I don't want to say him. I might get flagged. But anyway, um, uh, we also have who would be the the biggest head? I think I know that one as well. The biggest head. Is it a guy? Yes. Okay, I know. Yeah, okay, I, don't <laughs> yeah, I know. <laughs> um, who would be the biggest, uh, biggest like? We got a lot. Goody, goody. I know. Yeah, uh, positivity. Like a positivity. Guy that, yeah, I know a guy that's just a lot of positivity. Who? He deserves that award. Who? Doc Mamer. Doc Mamer. <laughs> he needs that award. Shout out. By the way, he t- we went live with him not long ago on TikTok, yeah. and he says he loves the podcast. If you're watching this, Doc, shout out, Doc appreciate bro. it, bro. He, but he's had some drama. That man. guy oozes positivity. He's had some drama. Oh yeah, he's, he's had some drama. Bro, I've seen with old mate who we don't want to mention. We always promised we'd never mention him on the podcast, but old mate called him an orangutan to his face, and he goes, and he started doing monkey noises, bro. That's pretty fucked up. How did bro? That's pretty fucked up. Like the guy jumps on live with you, and he knows how to push people's buttons. Mm. That's the thing about this guy. He knows how to he, talk. He knows how to get the worst out of people. That's he how you know you, the, when you lose against this guy is when you get the worst out of yourself. He's like Conor McGregor. Yeah. I look. I, I'm not comparing him. He he's nowhere near shape or form a fighter mm. like Conor McGregor, but he knows how to talk. Yeah. So when someone knows how to talk, they know how to press people's buttons, mm. and that'll make you lose the argument every single time when yeah. you're the person that's shouting and the other person's laughing at you. You can't. We've seen can't. him do it with not only Doc. We've seen him do it with other people as well. Oh, we, we've seen someone lose their shit last week. Completely lose their yeah. shit. Just and, and, bring and, out the worst of themselves. And that's right. And, and that's what this guy wants. And if you fall into his trap, that's what he's exactly what he's going to do. So don't but fall into I'm his trap. I'm not going to let a guy over the internet that's not even in front of me get the best out of me. But you know what? That's the thing about these days. Mm. It's, it's like you can say anything you want and that's what's scary. You can literally yeah. say anything you want because you're safe behind the screen. Bro, TikTok... I th- you're I, safe behind the screen. Yeah. That's what it is. Lives. You, yeah. No one can literally... What's the most they're going to do? They're going to punch the phone? They're going to call no. you every word under the sun? No, but it's not hurting you in any way. They can just verbally abuse you. That's, that's they the can verbally they can abuse you, which has created the, the fucking biggest toxic environment that I've ever seen on TikTok. I, I think live TikToks in the area specifically are the new Call of Duty Modern Warfare lobbies. I agree with that because <laughs> I think the thing is that in Call of Duty Modern Warfare, you never used to see the person. So now people yeah. are getting more brave because you can actually see the person in front of you, yeah. but they can't reach you. They can't touch you. They can't do anything to you. Bro. So you're sitting there and you're like, you're a this and that X, Y, Z, knowing that there's no repercussions yeah. and knowing that everyone in Sydney is talk. They're all because, talk, Because, listen, bro. if people weren't talking Sydney, these people that are talking shit on lives, I'm not going to mention one person because it's not only one person, it's a few people. Yeah. But these people that are talking shit on lives, they wouldn't be here now. Yeah, they bro, would not be here how, now. How, how far are we out of lockdown? Everyone's like, and send me your address right now. Send me your address right, right now. If you had his address, you if wouldn't you, do you, you, If you <laughs> wanted his address, you would genuinely get his address. But he, let's face it. Let's not kid yeah. ourselves. We are sitting here and we're all having a laugh. We're enjoying the clout. That's what it's all about. Right. In the end of the day, it's all about the clout. 
No yeah. one truly hates it. No one is gonna kill someone because of TikTok. Mm. Put it that way. No one is gonna kill someone because of TikTok. No, no. How no, bad can it be? Someone's yeah. gonna throw it. Your mum obviously gonna get angry. Man, the way I look at it is like, you don't even know this guy personally. Like, how how can you? What can you possibly say All that's right. gonna like I, get the worst? I, out I of seriously it? don't know, but I think that people are getting so complacent with with saying anything. Back 20, 30 years ago, yeah. let them say the shit they're saying now in mm. person. They wouldn't say it. No, it's different. different in person, generation. because it's a different generation, and this generation has become so soft but so blunt at the yeah. same time. How does that work? How are they soft and how are they blunt at the same time? Mm. Because they're soft in the sense where they know they're not going to get hurt, but they're blunt in the sense where they know they're not going to get hurt. Yeah, exactly. So That's what it's, it's about. Like, it's it's like, 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 I know I'm not going to get hurt. I know you can't touch me. Mm. So I will say every single word under the sun to you and your family. And your fucking siblings, and your parents, and yeah. everyone you know. You know what? This this guy that's that's doing all this, he could be the nicest guy in person. You that's what it is. It's a personality. You could meet this guy. He could be the nicest guy. Like, well, I kind of doubt that one because it, someone that's a nice guy, you can. You know what? Even with like the, it's probably it could be a persona. That no, but at the same time, I think it's not a persona. Why? I think it's not a persona. I think because you look at people like celebrities, right? That are putting on acts. Like one of the biggest ones is Colby Covington. Mm. Right. Apparently he's a nice guy. Apparently he's a nice guy. Yeah. But he doesn't... I mean, he says some really fucked up shit, but he doesn't... He doesn't... He, he has boundaries. He still has mm. boundaries. Yeah. Uh, you know what? He like, still has boundaries. When you when you go to... Like, when you become... Uh, like, when you say racist shit... That's I don't think Conor McGregor's a nice guy. I think mm. he's a dickhead in real life as well. I think so, yeah. I yeah. think he's a dick, He's not oh, like, like Colby. Colby's different. Mm. Colby is the guy that... He genuinely is a nice guy in person because mm. I've seen him in videos. But I've... Conor McGregor punched a fucking old guy in a bar. Hmm. Conor McGregor basically got charged with breaking the bus. Like, he 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 done a lot of dumb shit. Yeah, Colby yeah, hasn't really yeah. been charged. He with punched. Shit like he that. punched the DJ as yeah, well. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> he yeah. wanted to fucking punch on with MGK, hmm. who's with Megan Fox. Every childhood guy's dream to be with Megan Fox. Apparently, MG apparently he was jealous. I mean, no, he was in M uh, Megan Fox's Your DMs. Your wife is in me DMs! <laughs> Megan Fox was in his DMs or Megan something. Megan Fox shit. was in his DMs. Hey, but apparently... What was I going to say? What was I going to say? Oh, no, but like... It's so it's gotten to the point... You know how with this, this whole toxic thing with lives as well. Mm. It's like... I was in a Call of Duty. I got back into Call of Duty recently. I'm like... Bro, the lobby... When I get in here... Is it still like that though? I thought... I got, I got on. I killed this guy. I'm like, yeah, you fucking pussy... And I'm like, I'm expecting, you know, to get toxic. I was like, I like Call of Duty lobbies. Like You're waiting for him to say, that's not what your mum said last night. And he's like, hey, man. Oh, sorry, man. He's like, <laughs> I'm like, what the fuck? He's like, hey, what, what, do you, what do you mean? What? And then I'm like, oh, fuck. Sorry, bro. Yeah. Nah. And Are you serious? It got awkward. I swear. <laughs> <laughs> and then, and then Guys, put your shit together. What happened to the modern warfare days when people would literally swear at your existence? Call of Duty lobbies were a bad place. You think TikTok lives are bad? I mean, you it's close enough though. Some of the shit I've heard on TikTok lives, bro, it's like wow. You should have seen Call, like, Call wow. of Duty lobbies are bad as well, bro. Like, some of the shit that they talk about on TikTok live and some of the stuff that they say to each other, mm. I'm like, bro, I wouldn't even say that to my worst enemy. But mm. it goes back to what we were saying. Anyone could say something behind the screen. Mm. Say it to someone's face. Oh, he won't. They yeah. don't know the the definition. They don't know the definition of getting punched in the face. Mm. They don't know the definition of getting punched in the face because he said something wrong. Mm. And it shows. It shows. Yeah, when you, when you go to an extent of like swearing at a bloke's mum that you know you don't even know the guy. Like his mum could be dead. Why? His <laughs> mum could not be there. His mum could have problem. You don't know his mum. So how could you like swear at someone? Like even even sometimes when you're in traffic. Like I'm in mm. traffic sometimes. Like I, you get angry at someone. You're like, yeah, fucking. But then you sort of feel bad. You're like, I don't yeah. know this guy. Why am I? Yeah, you're him? like, fuck. Why, why am I, I swearing? Yeah. You you realize that like I don't know this person. He doesn't know me. But what is? Do you ever think about that? That mm. every single person you drive past this is a bit off topic. But every single person you drive past has their own life. Mm. Like sometimes I think about that. Like I'll be in traffic and then I'm driving, and then I'm like, it happened today. I was like driving mm. and I was in traffic and then I see all these cars and I'm like, each person has each person looks different. Mm. Each person obviously is a different human. Yeah. But I'm like, each person, I thought deep, I'm like, each person has their own life and they're going somewhere. Mm. I and, was, and I was each coming person back from has work. experienced different shit. Each person's been what, through. And what's funny is each person has experienced different shit, but it all led them to be in the same road at the same time, mm. in the same traffic. Fucks yeah. me up every time I think about that. It no, you, you never, like, I, I hardly think about that. You're like, this person could have been late to work, could have came back, could have done this, could have done that, could have done this, this. 
each person was going to a different destination. Mm. But the thought, one thing we all had in common was we were in this traffic, sitting at you, this you red light. You must have had a lot of thinking time on that. I highway. did, I did. And and <laughs> and you're, we're all sitting at this red light, yeah. but we're all heading to different destinations. But we all have different lives as well. Mm. And that's what made me think. I'm like, wow, that's fucking deep. But that was just in like one road. Imagine the world. Mm. Do you ever think like right now? Imagine like when you think of telephones, like or like signals and like messages that go around you could just you imagine like right now in the whole world do you always think like how many people are getting bashed how many mm. people are like eating a fucking kebab mm. how m- <laughs> imagine that how many people are doing that how so many, many people, people? Kebab, yeah with garlic sauce with garlic sauce barbecue sauce hsp hsp how many people <laughs> hey bro it's been a while i doing the deed <laughs> doing the deed why doing do you the say deed. like that i don't know that's, that's just what i say <laughs> why don't you just say it how many people are getting laid? Yeah. How, how many people are <laughs> getting paid? How many people are like, it, it's crazy to, to think that the world is so big and we're so focused on our life when there's so many different lives like us. Mm. That's what I'm just always we hardly We hardly stop and think. It's always like- We hardly stop and think. Look, everyone's in a race. Like in the morning, everyone just wants to get You don't realize, you never, you never just- I, I never it. think of that. To you be never honest, think of that. No, no. Because I'm you just, don't have time. I'm just trying to get to work. You don't have time. I, I don't give a fuck how I get there, but I'm just trying to get to work. I, I just- Forget about everything else. I think about that a lot. And, and sometimes I think about that when I like walk out. And do you ever just stop and stare at the sky? Do you ever just look at the sky and you're like, I don't know. Like it's, it's just like this. It's such a big universe. Yeah. Well, you're, you're, so going, you're going real deep real quick. You're so small <laughs> in the universe. I don't yeah. know why I'm going so deep. Yeah, so nah. Deep. When you look at the stars and like, you know, that, that seems small to you. But yeah. how many light years are you away? Or like how many, how far are you away I from don't know, man. this star? And you're a little know. fucking speck compared to that star up, up close. It's crazy. It's, it's fucking crazy, bro. I, every time I think about it, I'm like, wow. Mm. Sometimes I think, do you ever think like, wow, I'm actually human? Like, what do you mean? Like, like it's hard well, to I'm living, you mean like? I'm living, like I'm actually living. Like mm. I'm actually like, I'm, I'm breathing. And I'm like, yeah. I, don't know, I don't know how to get deep with this, but like, this might be a deep podcast. I'd never planned on this. This was fucking so random. But <laughs> do you ever think like, wow, I'm alive? And mm. like, I'm just like, I, like I, the world. Do you ever think like, well, I can see things like mm. everything around me and I'm just in a world. Like, I don't know. I mean, yeah, occasionally. You never like, stop to think about that. That's the thing. You never stop really, to think nah. about it because life is so fast paced, especially here in Sydney. Yeah. Li- life is, it's like, life is short as well. Like you, life is really you short. You hardly stop and like think in the moment. You're always thinking of ahead. I you gotta know what get, it is? I got to get here by this time, by this I Just was I happen. was actually yeah I had a, I had I was thinking about this the other day when I was I think about a lot of shit it always happens when I'm driving back from work I don't know because mm. it's a long drive and I'm always thinking and I think about this the other day I'm like you're always thinking ahead and that's a problem yeah. because I put it this way you're always thinking ahead of time and you're always thinking there's there's easier days coming you always think this is the hardest part of your life that's the pro- that's the truth mm. so when it's primary school when I got to high school I was like man I miss primary school primary school was so easy all I had to learn was multiplications and stuff. Mm. And then when I got to high school, I'm like, now this is hard. I have my HSC, I have this and that. All I had yeah. to worry about was nap plan in primary school. But then I finished high school, I got to uni. I look back at high school, I was like, wow, I had teachers that spoon fed me. You know, I was, I, it was like so easy to, to learn. Yeah, man, you look- and then you're like, uni's hard because like you don't get that spoon feeding. And then mm. when I left uni and started working, I'm like, wow, I miss uni because I had so much time. Mm. But then you realize that. You're always in this race. You're always trying to get ahead of time when you never really live in the actual moment and enjoy the moment while you have it. How much money would you give right now just to go back to high school? You're like, fuck, oh, I miss bro, high school, man. I, I can't even think of... But bro. back then, you didn't think about that. You're nah. like, you're like, oh, bro, I can't wait to go to uni. I can't wait to leave high school. But then you start looking back and you're like, I miss it. I miss yeah, it. Yeah, now you look you look at your, like, your parents and stuff. You're like, fuck, they're driving a car. I can't wait till I drive a car. Yeah. But then you drive a car and you're like, fuck, I've got to put petrol now. I've got to pay for yeah, petrol. Yeah. I've got to pay for Regio. I've got to pay for insurance. I've got to pick up my sister from here. I've and you take think of it as like a burden. You get to the point you where do, you do. You do because you're, you, you're never satisfied. That's mm. the reality of life. You're never satisfied because you're yeah. always looking ahead. I'm never satisfied because I just, that's just the way I am. I always mm. want to push for better. But the but thing what about, about, what about before you get a job? Let's say you after uni, you finish uni, you get a job. You're like, before that, you're like, F- I can't wait till I get accepted to this job. I hope I get accepted. Then you get into the job and you look at a guy that's higher than you in the higher position. You're like, you're like now I want to become a higher. Uh, I want to get th- to that I want to get position. to that job. Yeah. Exactly. And then you get to but the job. But it's a good thing. You say, Don't get me wrong. Don't get me wrong. It's a good, th- yeah. it's, obvi- it's obviously a good thing to have ambition. Mm. It's a good thing to always look for something better. 
But don't lose track of what you're doing in the moment. Don't lose track of how you're living right now. Right now, like we're making podcasts and stuff and we're obviously, we're not, we're not nowhere near where we want to be with this podcast. We're still no. working towards our goal. Yeah. But one day we're going to look back at it and going to be like, man, remember those days where we used to just do podcasts, just me and you and just mm. like, you know, that makes in, me in yeah. the garage. Maybe that's, one that's day what we'll I, get a proper studio. That, that's what we're I still think in of. the garage. We got yeah. one Levy sign. <laughs> we're literally in our parents' garage. We're like, literally. In, we, we don't have a studio. We don't have like expensive equipment we just we don't but but that's the thing like always appreciate the mm. time that you're living in now because you, before you know it it's going to be over before you know it it's going to get past and when that be, when, when it gets past you're going to look back on these days and you're going to be like wow like right now i'm not married i'm still mm. single and i always think like man i can't wait to get married i can't yeah. wait to get married i can't wait to start a family i think about that a lot i'm like mm. i'm like it's it's like you're always looking for something bigger yeah. And once I get married, I feel like I'm going to look back, even though it's going to happen for sure. I might look back and say, wow, man, I missed the days when I was single because I had less responsibilities. Mm. That's just the way it is. It's just the way life is. That's how it is, yeah. And, and never lose track of you, you appreciating never, the moment. You That's never how. think about getting to that stage. You're always thinking about, like, you always think about getting to that stage, but you never think about after you get to that stage. Yeah. What happens after that? For sure, for and, sure. you know, thinking ahead, too much ahead fucks you up because... Then you're living in a fantasy. Yeah. You're not living in the present. You're living in a fantasy. And you're thinking too much ahead. You're not thinking in the moment. You're just, you just... You sweat the little things. That's Life's too short for that. <sighs> That's true. And mm. man, do you, would you want to be a kid again? A little kid? Bro, 100%. I, no, I, you know what? I wouldn't go back to being <laughs> a little kid again because you have to go through like all that stuff as a little kid. I'd probably go... If I was to go back... No, but then... I'd go back to like 14 or 13. Just when I started becoming a teenager. Actually, mm. even then, it was a bit hard. No, but no. I'm thinking like, go back and then come back quickly. Just just experience it for like a month or, or, or a year. Oh, just to experience just it. Experience just it experience it experience it. Like, Ma But with your mind now, would you go back? Or mind as a kid again? Yeah, I'd, I'd, I'd invest, Imagine in, going I'd invest back. in Bitcoin. You know what? <laughs> Imagine going back now to when you were 12 or 11 with the mindset you have now. Mm. I would probably be so fucking different. I would be so different. And then... Everyone would say this. I think everyone would. You, I think this. you look like an alien to everyone else in your class. You would, but because you, if you'd you have, have so that, much wisdom. Yeah, if you get to, if you have that mindset. Imagine, then, imagine someone in class tells you like, "Oh yeah, bro." Like, because what do they do these days? They vape. So imagine him going like, "Oh yeah, have a puff of this." They're like, "Bro, vaping's bad." What? <laughs> you look like an alien to him. You're like, "What do you?" you mean? That would be like, "Wait, you? What the fuck did you just say?" Wait, you care about your health? We, like, we're nah, too young for this that. This guy's a twenty. We don't care about this guy's a twenty-three-year-old living in a twelve-year-old's body for sure. He yeah. said no to a vape. Hundred yeah. percent, he's a twenty-three-year-old living in a twelve-year-old's body. It's, it's but that's the reality of life. Yeah, that's the reality of life. But that's the thing, bro. You don't you don't care about your health and stuff. Like you don't really care about that stuff. You don't. You but imagine caring about your health when you were twelve. Imagine sitting here and being like, I yeah, need this like, much amount of protein. I need to start doing runs. I need to fucking do cardio. I can't put on weight. You didn't care about that, bro. I used to eat so much shit when I was twelve. Bro, you, that's the thing. Yeah. You, when you when you become a teenager, bro, I used to eat so much stuff. I used to probably eat fucking three, four burgers, and mm. I was the skinniest kid in class, bro. I was a lanky kid. I was tall, mm. but I was skinny because I would I would just like fucking eat so much. But the thing is, you you just play sports, recess, yeah, lunch, that's... after school, before school, mm. um, fucking uh, fucking after uh, at home, bro. You're just always playing sports. When, when you're that age, that's that's what you care about: sport, going to see your mates. You know, you just, yeah. There's no fucking work. There's no yeah, exactly. There's no rat race. You just yeah. Like, you take and, and life like, as it is. You you take it as as it is. So if you're watching this and you're that age, honestly, appreciate the time you have yeah. now. And I, I know it's sometimes uh, it's hard because I don't understand your struggle, that, your personal struggle that you're going through. But man, honestly, enjoy it while it lasts because. Mm. These days will never come back, and that that's the that's the reality of life. Like these days will never come back, mm. and you'll never experience them again. Look, so experience them while you can. Mm. Don't don't think too ahead. That's don't what think I think. Too ahead. No, no, that's no. what I think. Live in the moment, just enjoy life. You know, that's what, what I, mean? I thought, bro. I was always in this rat race where I'm like, man, by 25 I need to have this amount of money, or by 25 I need to have this amount of properties, or by mm. by 30 I need to be a millionaire. And I'm always thinking ahead, and I'm always thinking like, fuck, I need to do this. But that that just that it, it, it's good in a way, mm. but it's bad in a way where it's like a big distraction of living in the moment because you're always thinking ahead of time that you never actually live. Mm. There's a quote by this guy. So what's his, um, if you can bring it up. I was going to say um, on that note. What's a Dalai Lama or something? 
Dalai, Dalai Lama. Lama, Dalai Lama, Dalai Lama. I've heard of that. But so, what that? so what happened is, I'll t- let me tell you a quick story. So I was at work, yeah, and I had to move desks. And the desk that I had to move to was this old Vietnamese lady. Mm. And she, she was like, uh, pretty much we swapping desks. So she was removing all her stuff. And she had this Dalai Lama, like it was like a quote with like a photo of him. And he was sitting on her desk. Mm. And, I, and then she's like, I'm going to keep this for you. Just keep it there. I'm like, oh, but I didn't care. I didn't really care. I'm like, oh, fuck, no worries. Okay. Um, <laughs> uh, quote. Sorry, I'll just bring it up. Yeah. Now I've I've heard of that before, and I've seen, I've seen that. Yeah, but I haven't seen his. I haven't heard. I haven't seen his quotes. Okay, so this is the exact quote that he that she had, and mm. I never really read it. Like it was always on my desk. Mm. It was always there, just sitting there on my desk, and I never read it. I'm like, oh, okay, I'll just ignore it. Yeah. But then one day I was bored. I didn't have much work to do, surprisingly. So I'm like, I just looked at this quote, and I'm like, mm. let me actually think about this because I read it like a thousand times before, but I never thought about it. Yeah. I'm going to read you guys this quote right now. It's by this guy, the Dalai Lama. I don't know what it is for Vietnamese people, but some guy, some like probably mm. respected guy. It says, the Dalai Lama, when asked about, uh, when asked what surprised him most about humanity, answered, man, man, as in man, man or woman, because he sacrifices his, his health in order to make money. Then he sacrifices money to re- like reciprocate his health, as in like fix his health. Mm. And then he is so anxious about the future that he d- does not enjoy the present. The result being that he does not live in the present or the future. He lives as if he is never going to die and then dies as if he has never really lived. Wow. So if you actually think about that for a bit. I, w- I read this quote a thousand times before I actually understood it. Hmm. So this quote was there for a while. But then when I actually understood it, I'm like, wow, we are so living ahead of time and in the future and worried about the wrong things that we never actually live. Hmm. You die as though you have never really lived. Mm. That, that makes me think of that movie, like Click. Yeah, he had the yeah. ability to like skip things and just you know get get to that promotion, get to the CEO level. Mm. But he missed out on the most important things in life, which are family, family, family moments, you know, friends. You know those those moments you have with moments, friends. Moments they they come and they go. Yeah, you like you think of a memory, right? It's it's so deep when you think of a memory. Mm. And memory That's why photos photos are so important. Yeah, photos, photos are, are really but, important. But I wish we used them more back back then and videos. No, you know. we didn't. And, and that's the thing. I, I feel like I want to start taking more photos because photos are really the only way you can keep a memory besides your head, mm. besides in your mind. Mm. The w- only way you can keep a memory is through photos. But think about experiencing that memory. The ex- ex- but that's the thing. You can re-experience it. You can re-experience a memory through a photo. So mm. if you see a photo, you're like, okay, wow, this is like... You, you, you can, you can reminisce. You, you can reminisce. You, yeah. you can't re-experience, but you reminisce. You reminisce. Yeah. But sometimes you would forget that memory unless you see the photo, mm. and that's how you reminisce that memory. Mm. But actually experiencing it, that only happens once. When you well, think about that, that's that's pretty deep. Well, we got really deep. <laughs> we got really really deep, and I think I think we should move on to a bit more of a brighter you topic. Took, but I think we need, I think we need to go deep every now and then because like yeah. you need to have these conversations, no, you man. Do, you do. Like we're also. I feel like this podcast, as I always say, is for me to vent because, like, I don't know how <laughs> I don't know how people just want to to vent. But like, I, I just feel like a lot of stuff plays on my mind as the week goes by. But like, I, I never really let it out yeah. until this podcast. That's why yeah. I love it. This one's my favorite thing. But you to know, do. you know what's crazy when I think sometimes, like, what? people people do workouts while listening to our podcast. Like, imagine going through your last rep <laughs> and you're hearing my voice, fucking uh, reminisce memories. Imagine like, hearing my <laughs> voice. Um, welcome back to the best podcast in the area. And I'm just, by the way, if you're going through that set, go do it. Fucking do it. Do it. Get those get bicep reels. Oh, <laughs> shout out. I want to give a shout out to Northside Giant. Yeah. I fucking love that guy, man. Yeah, I, he's a G. Look, Northside Giant is a guy that's on TikTok. Follow him on TikTok, by the way. Fucking love him. A- amazing legend. Mm. He's going to be, and I, I say it, inshallah, one day, that guy is going to be the world's strongest man. And mm. count my words for it. The Northside Giant is going to be the world's strongest man. Yeah. I think that guy, mashallah, I reckon that guy can bicep curl me with a single <laughs> arm, my whole body weight, 85 bro. kilos. He will bicep curl me. Bro, he, he bicep curls and, and lifts I want to get him on the podcast, bro. Whenever, honestly, when, when he comes to Sydney, I mm. definitely want to get him on the podcast. I no, think bro, he would, I'll be, he's I'll such, be he'll be an amazing guest. 100%. He's yeah. doing great things, bro. We need he's to doing great like things. That, yeah. Bro, I've never seen someone like mashallah, his size. That's the thing. This guy is a beast. He's an animal. In the way he lives, but he's also a freaking giant. He's actually a giant. He's a giant. He lives up you, to the you name. wouldn't want to piss that guy off, that's for sure. Bro, the guy <laughs> lives up to the name in the sense where he's actually a giant. Yeah. But he looks like a friendly giant. I've heard him Bro, speak. Imagine imagine having a giant like that, let's say, as your, your father in law. <laughs> Bro. I think he has all boys, though. <laughs> Lucky for him. 
Imagine, right, imagine, imagine him imagine being your father-in-law. Imagine he, walking in and he's like, all right, I'm going to test you. I want you to hold five, five chairs. He makes it like a cutoff. Like and a, he's like, if you don't hold those five chairs, you cannot date my daughter. <laughs> That's like you cannot the, be with my daughter. Yeah, that's that's like the cutoff. The, that's or imagine when he's initiation. like, imagine when he's talking to you and like you're sitting there nervous and he's like, ha 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 ha, you make me laugh and like he's sitting there doing this to you. You know those <laughs> people that like when they when they <laughs> laugh they like hit you more than they actually laugh. Right. Like they're like right, they, you know like they're, know, fucking, they're just fucking they're like they're literally <laughs> like trying to kill you in the process of them laughing. Why yeah. do they do that? Why do people do that? Bro, you're so funny. Honestly, so funny, bro. You're so freaking funny. <laughs> and they say, ah. Bro, people are probably listening to this on Spotify. If you're listening to this you're on so Spotify, funny. we are just pushing each other. We're not doing anything else. We're literally just pushing Close each other. Close your eyes and just listen to this. Yeah, but there's people that do that. Like, relax. All right, the joke was funny, but I'm trying to keep my life. I'm trying to be sane. I'm trying to not fall over. Stop freaking pushing me. Just enjoy the joke. Why do you have to like, you know... <laughs> fuck it, bro. What am I, a boxing bag? It's like fucking. It's like they're training down. to be the next Mayweather, brother. Listen, <laughs> it's a joke. All right, we get it. It's funny. It's bro, fucking funny. The, you know what else is funny as well? When when you get that mate that just doesn't get the joke, it's just like. Yeah, I know. And then he gets it like ten minutes later. Or you show a meme, he's like, <laughs> and you're like, you, you don't get it. No, like, they laugh, but they're like, and then you're like, all right, you don't get it. And he's like, no, no, I get it. No, I get no, it. They, they, and they're they, like, they don't admit it. <laughs> you do that sometimes, and they're like, nah, <laughs> man. <laughs> You're like, do you get the joke or not? And you're like, yeah, yeah, I'll get the joke. <laughs> All right, no worries. <laughs> no, because sometimes it's like, but sometimes there's really like high IQ level memes. They Sometimes they make memes that are like, <sighs> see, I don't like you that. Can't, you can't understand like that, that unless you've seen like, you can call me a Dumbo, you can call me whatever you want, mm. but I don't like memes that are high IQ. Why I don't like it is because I feel like you don't want to think too much when you're looking at a meme. You just want to laugh. Yeah. It's also like, let's say the Travis Scott. If you never knew about the Travis Scott concert oh, and you I've see the- i some fucked up memes If about you that. never knew about that and you see the meme where it's like, you won't know. You were like, well, have you seen- That's funny. Just trying to say it. What? It's a pretty fucked up meme. Which one? I mean, I don't mind dark humor. I mean, look, if you're, if you're pissed weak, probably trigger warning. But you know how it happened at his concert where there's like a lot of people yeah. and, and literally like- you know how it happened at his concert when there was a lot of... <laughs> Why do you keep saying... Don't laugh, bro. That's because I'm saying... We're talking about something serious. Yeah, but I know, but you keep saying... It. <laughs> it just makes you laugh. No, no, like, hello, cut this out. But like... Yeah. But you... <laughs> <laughs> oh, bro. You know what? No, no, I can't. I can't do this. Before we started the next cut... <laughs> no, fucking don't. <laughs> don't, this, don't expose our this, secret. This is exactly what you were doing before the next cut. But you know what happened at his concert? But you know what happened at his you concert? You know why? Because I didn't want to forget what I said. <laughs> the thing about our camera is... I know people have noticed this by now. The thing about our camera is that we always get cut off at the half an hour mark. Mm. And we got cut off there and I was like, I don't want to forget what I was saying. So I go, but you know how it happened at his concert? He said it about 20 times and I can't avoid laughing. And I was literally going to cut that out, but like we kept it in. You All right, can't anyway. say that sentence anymore. Like, All right, try I'm not going to say that right. sentence. I'm not going to fucking laugh. Try it again. All right. He got flamed. So Travis Scott got mm. flamed a lot, obviously, yeah. for what happened. And um, I think... I think <sighs> As much as I say, obviously it was very devastating what happened. Mm. Loss of life, no matter what circumstance, very devastating. 11, 11 deaths. 11 right? deaths, very sad. You know, my heart's go out to the family and stuff like that. Mm. But the memes, like, I'm not trying to get cancelled, all right? But the memes, man, sometimes you need a bit of light in a, in a dark situation. I'm sorry, but I think dark memes are good for you. I mean, I seriously think they're good. To, they need to have a limit. Obviously, there's a limit. Yeah. There's a limit and place and things you can't cross. But, yeah. but how how mad can you be? Like, let's say if you're, let's say you pa passed away at his concert, right? Mm. It's kind of fucked up when you think about it. But if you think about it, you kind of like, you know, that guy was your idol, and you were at his concert. And if uh, the result after that was a meme, because Bro, of what happened that involves Travis Scott, which the guy that you went there for, look, I don't know what the fuck you're trying to say because I don't know. I don't want to die. No, and, because and I be don't hearing, know. And be hearing. Jamba Juice. I'm not trying to be funny. I'm honestly not trying to be... I'm being dead mm, set. I know, I know, I know. I don't want to die in that situation. Like, imagine that. No, you're no. fucking... You're meant to go there to be happy to fucking actually enjoy a, a fucking uh, man, concert. This is, this is how I feel about concerts. Look, uh, I'm, not, I'm not trying to sound like a dickhead or anything. Yeah. You do your concerts, whatever. Concerts, are for, oh, whatever, yeah. You go to a concert. I've only been... I've never been to one, actually. I've mm. never been to a concert in my life. It's fine. No, it's fine to go to a concert. Let's say you go to a concert with 10,000, 5 to 10,000. Yeah. Co the concert that the Travis Scott concert had about fifty thousand people. Fifty thousand. Fifty thousand people. 
which is wow. the number I saw. That's I don't a know if exactly, exactly, but it was around that number. But it was like very over. When you think of a confined space and you think about 50,000 people. Apparently, but what, apparently what happened is that the police warned him mm. and they gave him warning signs and they told him and the, the fucking venue people and stuff like that. And apparently he just fucking ignored the shit out of him and he's like, I'm mm. still doing this concert. No, but yeah, you think about it as well. It's not just 50,000 people standing. I don't blame him. They're jumping around. They're, they're 100%, all going crazy. I don't put the full blame on Travis Scott. Mm. I'm not going to sit here and say it's his fault. 100% his fault. Partially mm. his fault in the sense where he still continued the concert, which even then, even then, I, I think if someone's so into a concert, like you don't know what the... F you're not a freaking mm. artist. You're not a musician to know what sort of um, state their mind is in when they're actually yeah. performing at a concert in front of 50,000 people. The no. adrenaline that's rushing. You don't know the state they're in. You don't know how the fuck they can actually stop a concert and be like, hang on, there's someone suffocating right there. Come yeah, on, let's go. Look, it's... When you think of... I, I'm going to say it again. When you think about 50,000 people... Something could happen to that one person. Let's 100%. say one. You're obviously going to get a maybe. Person you know what? Out. This it happens in concerts. It's happened mm. in concerts before. You can't tell me in, in another concert there hasn't been people. All right, maybe not dead, but you can't tell me this hasn't been another concert where people haven't passed out. Mm. It happens, and he's probably thinking, "All right, it's just another person that passed out. It's but, just another one of my concerts." But this is where it rubs me wrong. Let's say the ambulance is not there, and let's just say there's a bit of commotion. Yeah, it looks normal to him, but you see an ambulance going in the crowd. You see people, you know. Hundreds of people being, you know, trampled and like. I know, I know. You can't, you can't deny that. It's kind of hard to not notice. You can't deny the fact that he has obviously responsibility and he mm. should have stopped it as soon as he seen the ambulance, but he didn't, and that's the thing. He fucked up. All right, but I, I think you shouldn't cancel him. I think people shouldn't sit here and say Travis Scott is cancelled because these people honestly just want to cancel someone for the sake of cancelling someone. Yeah, yeah. That's what I think. I genuinely think they want to cancel someone because just for the fact of cancelling someone, that your mm. life is so shit. That you got to look at someone like Travis Scott, who's obviously successful in, in his in his field, yeah. and be like, nah, fuck it. You, <laughs> man, you fucked up. You're getting cancelled. You mm. cannot make music anymore. You cannot do anything anymore because I said you cancelled. Who am I? Who the fuck am I to sit here and say, you're cancelled? Who am I? No, there's, there's I, I cannot... It shouldn't be the people cancelling someone. That's no, what I'm no, saying. No, no, it no. shouldn't be... The, who the fuck are you for me for, for you to say I'm cancelled when I worked on my craft that's, that's so hard Yeah, I worked on my craft so hard and worked all those years and put in all that effort and all that time to become successful and do something out of the ordinary for mm. you to sit here and say you're cancelled no sorry but that doesn't work but that's just how the way the world works now like I'm sorry but it's shit uh, it is I agree with I agree with you 100% but yeah. that's just what the time we're in there, there's, it's a time of like cancel I didn't culture. even get to say the meme I just realized. Oh, yeah. Which were, it's pretty fucked up. Look, but the, the meme is, right? So, do you remember how there was like a, a time in America where they had the Travis Scott meal? Mm. This meme is so fucked up. I don't even know if I want to say it, but I'm going to say it anyway. Jack, uh, yeah, yeah. But this one was like the new Travis Scott meal. He had, um, he had hash browns mm. and he had McCrushed ribs. And he actually had ribs. And um, you can kind of tell what they meant by mm. McCrushed ribs. I mean, it's pretty fucked up, but... I mean, it's a dark, it's a dark meme, and um, I, mean, I I probably feel bad for saying it, but like, I feel like it gives right to a bit of the situation. I know it's fucked up, but everyone has their own way of dealing with shit. Yeah, like that, but that's just the time we're in. Again, that's the time we're in. It's memes, we're in. Memes. memes, cancel memes. culture. It's just memes everything. are a big thing, man. Memes yeah. are a big. Memes what can if, make you if, or break you. What if that's like a coping me mechanism now? For people maybe I, I swear i think memes are the well, new i highly doubt i highly doubt the family of these people are sitting there and oh, obviously not it's obviously not the, the family is affected no matter what yeah no matter what you do to try to comfort them they're obviously distraught they lost their loved one but mm. what's, what's the lawsuit again Let me, i want to find i don't know i don't want to spend too much time on it because like i feel like it's it's pretty old and it's a bit old news but we never actually addressed it i just want to say that uh, that number that l lawsuit i heard it was in the hundreds of millions uh oh, two, billion. two billion okay are you kidding me? Oh, two security guards have filed a lawsuit. Yeah, 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 yeah. I heard about that. Security I heard about the security. Companies. Like they're fucking but distraught. The, the cunts are traumatized because they're traumatized because they seen they literally had to carry out dead bodies. Yeah, but shouldn't? What about the venue? The, the actual venue organizers. Hey, look, like, listen. Everyone, everyone is going to sue this bloke. Everyone mm. is going to sue Travis. Uh, fucking from first and foremost, obviously, and most rightfully, the families, mm. the families of the victims. After they get over, obviously. You know, time goes on. And as we see, people start looking at money. They're like, all right, now we want to get compensated. Mm. Travis Scott, 11 people dead and on his neck, which not physically on his neck, but you know what I mean? Like it's his responsibility as people would claim. And he would say, now it's 
now I have to fucking sit there and pay this much money. Mm. Have you, Habib, have you listen. Sorry, Travis, but a fucking black and white filter video of you rubbing your head is not going to fucking make <laughs> nah, people feel yeah, better I'm about losing their loved one. Like, honestly speaking, I know it's probably but that, funny, but, but honestly no, no, speaking. This, but this is how I feel about apology videos. I, I, I really they never feel, work. You can never do a perfect apology video. You like can't. You, you say sorry. Like, we'll never know that feeling of getting to that yeah, point where you yeah. have to put out a video apologizing. Have I you gotten to that point? Never. No. But I hope no. I never do. But like, I think, I, I, even if I do, I think I won't put an apology video because mm. fuck you. I, I'm uncancelable. I, mean, I feel like I, I, I don't care. Like I speak my mind and if you don't agree, you don't agree. And that's the reason why I have this podcast. Mm. People can listen to a, an hour and a half of me just talking shit and not agree with everything I say, yeah, but they no still listen. Gonna, yeah. But they still listen. They want to hear. They want to hear what I have to say. But they don't agree with everything I say. And I'm not going to sit here and apologize for something I said because everything I say is me and it's mm. truly what I believe. So I'm not going to apologize for something that I truly believe because that's just my opinion. And everyone should have an opinion these days. And that's what I'm trying to get at. If you have an opinion and you have to apologize for your own opinion, that's when we know we have a problem. Mm. You shouldn't have to apologize for your own opinion because that's your own opinion. Everyone's entitled to their own opinion. But if I feel like you have to, you have to own up. Let, let's say you, you, you screw up or you, your opinion's like, let's say you're in the wrong. You have to own up to that. You have to, you have to say, what would, I up, I was wrong. what would be in the wrong? Give me an example. What would be in the wrong? Well, I don't know, like not compensating enough for... Obviously, that's wrong. Obviously, mm. that's definitely wrong. But like words, I'm talking more like words. What could you possibly say that you need to apologize It's not for? what you say. I f I'm, not, I'm not agreeing with this, but, I'm, but I feel like for people, it's not what you say. It's, not, it's what you didn't say, if that makes sense. Yeah, true. Like true. You could have said more. There's, there's always more that you can say. But you're and never going to please everyone. That's the thing exactly. about life. People you're never going you're gonna, you're yeah. to please everyone. No. That's no. the thing about it. Especially when you think about uh, someone that has that many fans and that talking many people about, listening to you. Uh, this is a bit off topic. But yeah. talking about someone that can never please anyone, mm. kids, bro. We were talking about kids, yeah. right? And you can go back and be a kid because you had no problems. Kids can literally say the most fucked up shit and do a cartwheel after. They'll tell <laughs> you like, mommy hits daddy every night before we go to bed. Watch this. And then <laughs> and do, a just do a cow And you're like, you're like, what the fuck did you just say? Okay, what am I supposed to do with that information now? It's like... A lot of kids do that, bro. A lot of kids do that. My dad hit my mom. <laughs> <laughs> it's like, what the fuck? Oi, oi, Mahmoud, watch this. And then they literally like, like do jump on the spot or something. And yeah. you're like, yeah, nice. <laughs> <laughs> what, are you, what are you supposed to do with that? It's our, like, our cousin did that the other day. Yeah. <laughs> What did a little say? cousin did that. She's like, uh, she said something weird. Uh, no, I not weird. Remember. She just said something like, um, I can't remember. But yeah, she said something, and then something that didn't make sense. I can't remember. She's like, um, <laughs> something that just didn't make sense. And then she's like, I had a Slurpee yesterday. <laughs> We're like, all right. Well, what do you want me to do with this oh, information? Oh wow! Oh good. We're like, oh wow, good. And the thing is, they always cut you off when you're in the middle of a serious conversation, like. You're sitting there and we're all talking and we're all talking and we're like in the middle of a serious conversation, like <laughs> fucking debating and shit. Yeah. And then, Mahmoud, 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 Moses, Moses, Moses. And like literally had to stop the conversation. Yeah. What? I had a sloopy yesterday. Proceeds to do a <laughs> cartwheel. All right. Uh, she, yeah, yeah. Okay. Yeah. Nice. Good. But that's, bro, that's when you think about perspective, right? Perspective, right? Perspective. When you think perspective is very important, especially as a kid. Shout out Gary V. Shout out Gary V. Perspective. Like fucking, like... When you like look at yourself, you're like 73, like you're still young. You still get your whole you're life. You're young as fuck, right? You're young as fuck, right? <laughs> fuck it. Like, fuck it. Just quit your job. Quit your job. Fucking go fucking sell watermelons. <laughs> fucking do it. <laughs> I fucking love Gary Vee. Give me the fucking money now. Have you seen that guy that does the The guy's like, I'm 22. <laughs> I dropped out. Um, I don't have anything going for me. My girlfriend <laughs> broke up with me. Um, I'm, I'm, you know, I take drugs every day and uh, I, I still, and I, I just killed a few people. <laughs> Fucking do it! Your life, your life sucks, but it can't suck anymore. No. <laughs> Fucking do it! You're 22. You're, you're doing life, right? You're gonna do life, but that's life. That's life. Sometimes, sometimes you gotta eat a shit sandwich. <laughs> you'll, do, you'll do 25. That's for what he life, always that's says. Life. That's what he always says when someone tells you that yeah. they're doing shit in their life. Sometimes you gotta eat a shit sandwich. And then, I, and, and, then, and then he says something that's completely off topic. Yeah. Invest in Bitcoin. <laughs> You're like, all right, bro. All right, NFTs Gary. are the future, right? Fucking NFTs are the future. That's fine. It's the guy could be like, no worries. But that's the thing. Like, 
with motivational people like let's yeah. say Gary V, yeah, you take them seriously, even though they're like you do, you do, but like you do listen to them. But they they make sense a lot of the time, but sometimes I'm like. Gary V, what the fuck are you saying? <laughs> yeah, yeah. Sometimes, oh, overdo it. sometimes you're like, what the fuck does that even mean? Yeah, yeah. Sometimes like when he says, I, I like Gary V, but I hate when he does that shit when he's like, when he just says like two words. Yeah. Supply demand. <laughs> Why? <laughs> you're like, what do you mean? Elaborate. Like, Elaborate, please. Yeah. I want to know. Supply demand. But but like, that's right, the thing. Man, like, no worries. That's, that's just how it is. Like with motivational people... You can't. You you got to take them with a grain of salt because like you got to take them with a grain of salt. Can you imagine me being a motivational person? Nah, because you're a lever. Because I'm a lever. <laughs> Cause listen, straight out. Right. When I was 21, I was living with my parents. Now I'm 25 and I'm living in the granny flat. I haven't moved out. I haven't moved out. <laughs> I'm 25 and I'm living in the granny flat. Supply and demand. You can move <laughs> to the granny flat too. So join me on this journey. Sometimes in life, you got to sell double the bags. Not a single bag. Double the bags. Listen, you double the supply, you double the, the product. Could you imagine a Lebo actually being a motivational speaker? Like, I mean, I'm not talking a Lebo. I'm talking a Lebo from the area. Yeah, no. It's actually being a motivational speaker, standing in front of 50,000 people and telling them what to do. Cuz, listen, in my opinion, bro, fucking just, just go for it, cuz. Just straight out, just finance the AMG. Just do it. Just do it, cuz. What are you waiting for, bro? If you're not going to do it now, when are you going to do it? People tell you financing AMG is bad. It's good. Look, look at me. <laughs> $40,000 in debt. Do I give a fuck? No. I'll drive a fast car. That's what matters. I'll drive a fast car. <laughs> gets me from A to B, but it gets me from A to B fast. How, how fast do you get to 100? Now half that. <laughs> that's where you get to be. <laughs> this is like, that's okay. pretty funny. That is pretty funny. No, but that's, that's just like, that's it's, just a, it's a bad stereotype. You know what? But it's a bad stereotype. But do you think, do you think there's Lebos in Sydney anywhere in any other part of the world as there is in Sydney? Do you think there's any Lebos like there is in the area in Sydney, like any part of the world, like the Lebos in, in America, for example? Nah. Are they the same? I feel Are like they like the type that like sit there and like talk about the merits and talk about fucking bags, talk about this and that and have the accent that we do? No, obviously, they don't have the accent. No, no, no. But, but they don't. I feel like the Lebos in the area are specifically like they're a different breed. No. They, are spe they shouldn't be even called Lebos. We should give them a new name. <laughs> the area, like the area... I don't yeah. know, something different. There could be a Lebo in anywhere else, but he, he won't act like that. <laughs> That's the thing. Like, you go to a Lebo in, in America, they're like, hey, man, I, like, I study at like, Harvard and like, I, I just enjoy like, you know, like eating kebbi, kebbineye. And then you're like, cuz what do you mean? What are you talking about? You put a Lebo from the area in any other part of the world with another Lebo, it'll be awkward. Mm. Because we're just a different breed, bro. Mm. We're a different breed. There's no one like us. Not just that. Like, imagine putting a Lebo from the area, right? Lebo from the area. Yeah. Imagine putting on putting him on Joe Rogan's pod podcast. <sighs> so like, what do you do back in the area, man? Like, just like, wow, what are you talking about, oh, bro? Listen, we finance AMGs, and we fucking we go to Merton's penthouse. We scream on lives, and we um, and we get a penthouse at the Merton's. <laughs> Straight up, like, wow, you scream on lives. Like, what do you mean by scream on lives? What's what's live on TikTok? You do know they, what? Do they do that? We um we make we make fun of it, yeah. But mm. I gotta say. It's becoming crazy. Mm. That live, all that weekly rankings and stuff, it's becoming like LA, bro. Yes, Straight out. Yes, yes. I, agree. I, would, I would not be surprised if the paparazzi starts coming to these people that are fucking on TikTok. Yeah, lives. bro, there could be a Tim TMZ in the area. They like, could start being teams in the area. Meet and greets. Yeah. Meet and greets? Yeah, when the, when the fuck did you <laughs> When were there ever meet and greets? In the area! For people in the Someone area. Someone you could see in Bankstown wants to do a meet and greet. Walla, I can just go to Bankstown, Paul Keating Park, and I'll see ya. Nah, no, yeah, like, <laughs> it's hard. What uh, the fuck? It's hard for me to comprehend. Like, it's really becoming LA when you think about it. It is? No, because people are becoming celebrities here. Yeah. Walla, there's like, so there's, bro. You can't, you can't talk you to can't people You can't talk anymore. to them. No. I want an autograph. Now, bro, I swear to God, some people ask for photos, yeah? Yeah. But there is going to be a point mm. where there's people going to start asking for these people these famous celebrities and LA people in the area yeah. for fucking autographs, bro. For and mark my words, it's very soon. That's it's crazy. It's very, very bro, soon. That's crazy to think. And because because of TikTok, this TikTok wow. created that. Wow. And not just TikTok. Don't say TikTok. Say TikTok lives. Because mm, before TikTok this TikTok lives. live bullshit, there was famous creators, but they weren't like this. Mm. They weren't like, no, you can't talk to me. You know. Now nah, it's, man, now it's all going. about clout. Now yeah. it's like, because you have that much amount of clout, I can talk to you. But if... Oh, you don't have this much amount of clout, so I won't talk to you. Mm. It's but what, then no, it's, it's like, like, yeah, what are you doing? Jinx. 
Yeah. <laughs> no, but it's what was I gonna say? Yeah, it's now it's like how many viewers do you have? It's not like Yeah, it's like how many viewers do you yeah. have? That that's like your self worth now. It's not, it's not about it's followers. Like ha- no, it's it's like not, not about followers anymore, and it's not about views, and it's not about YouTube, and it's not about anything. It's mm. just about how much viewers you can get on a live, gifting you jet planes. That's mm. literally what it's about. Yeah, and that's the new you wave. Think about it, it's pretty crazy. Like that's the new wave. Who would have thought Sydney would? Who would have thought LA? Sydney would become the new LA, and there would be people that are actually doing meet and greets, and actually, like you can't talk to them. Yeah, wow, that's crazy. Like that no, no g- g- good on him, obviously. Good on him, hundred percent. Good, good on him. I've never. But I never that. thought that that would happen. I've never witnessed that. You it's know crazy, what? Bro. Good on, good on them, and I'm here for it. Look, I'm, I'm here. It's interesting. It's I, interesting I say, I, you know what? I always say, get that bread. Get that That's bread. That's literally what it, I always say because I understand it from my point of view. You know, everyone works towards a goal, and and let's face it, bro. Everyone's in it for like everyone wants to get paid. Everyone mm. in the end of the day wants to pay their bills. They're doing it in one of the smartest ways possible, where they're sitting on lives talking shit. I say. Fucking, yeah. Good on like, you, man. You know what? Good on you. Keep doing, but hundred percent good on you. But you have to ask the question of longevity. How long can you do this for? I I think I think, at the moment, it's it's working. I think at the moment mm. it's working. But the question is how long for? The question is how longevity, long can they keep this up? Longevity. Is how long important. before people realize? Hang on a second. Something's not right here. Mm. How long before that? Yeah, I mean, you'll never really know until you know, until you get you'll to never that. Know until until you, you know, yeah, until you get to that point where it's just like <laughs> people are going to move on. <laughs> Bro, I can't believe we turned into LA. Yeah. We are actually worse than LA because yeah. at least in LA, you know it's LA. You know, people are there just for clout. Mm. Sydney, everyone's here for clout at the moment. Bro, imagine, imagine two. Bro, you know what's crazy? Imagine you left Sydney two years ago. And you heard nothing about Sydney. You heard nothing about you the were area. You were living in a fucking island. Yeah, you in heard In a noth- captive island off the fucking coast of Puerto Rico. Yeah. Somewhere far. Yeah. Somewhere really far. Yeah. Don't fucking know anything about, uh, you know, Sydney. Mm. You come back two years later, there's celebrities in the fucking area. Yeah. Maybe there's Greg's. celebrities in the area. <laughs> What's the double two, double O, brother? What's that? You're like, isn't that the postcode? And you're like, it's not just the postcode. Okay, why are people screaming the postcode? Hang on a second, What bro. did I miss? It's not just a postcode. And they sit there and they grab you. It's not just a postcode. It's so much more than that. It's so much more than that. It's double two, double O, brother. And you're like, what the fuck? It's just a postcode. And you're like, yeah, well, there's celebrities based on that. And you're like, wait, well, wait, wait. People what? became celebrities from that postcode. So crazy. Yeah. Crazy world we live in. People are fighting on lives and, you know, meet and greets. I'm here for it. And I'm going to the meet and greet. Uh, bro, it's I want to meet. I want to meet. It's pretty I don't want to greet, but I want to meet. <laughs> what if okay. you want to greet, but not meet? Isn't that just called a greet then? That's the same shit. What if you want to meet but not greet? What's a, a yeah, meet but when, when you, you meet, meet someone? Him, but when you meet him, you're obviously going to greet him. What if you don't what greet him? What if I just want to meet That's him? That's awkward. <laughs> what, what if I just want to do that? Why are you calling a meet and greet? What if I just want to meet? If you just walk up and just... Yeah. Hi. No, that's not... No, you can't, greeting, even, you can't even say hi. Like, you just... No, you don't even hug. You just look. You don't even nod. You just look. You walk off. <laughs> That's not weird at all. Just a greet. Why don't you do that? Oh, I probably will. I'll rock up. I'll rock up. <laughs> That's not I, I might actually go to the meeting. You're very the last one. Is I might go to the meeting. You never I might, put yourself um, in that position. I, I, I want. I want. I want Yusuf's autograph. <laughs> I actually. I, I want to frame that shit right here. I'm gonna put a photo right we'll here. Frame on the podcast and, and and put her on the podcast so she's always watching over us. <laughs> anyway, um, what else did we have? We had a we had another topic that I wanted to get into as well, mm. which is a bit controversial, right? Yeah. Females. Yes. If you talk about females, you're automatically red flag. Mm. Call me a red flag. I'm wearing a pink shirt. He's wearing a red shirt. So he's more of a red flag than I am. But mm. anyway. So I've noticed this all my life. And everywhere, like from school, from uni, from work, from everything, every fucking thing I've done, I've realized this one thing common in females, right? Mm. If you're a female and you are remotely attractive, you have like good looks. You like you, Something about you is hot. Like you're mm. really like hot. You're good looking. Mm. You automatically have the advantage in any fucking scenario, in any job, in any workplace, in any uni, in any fucking school, you automatically have the advantage. Why? Mm. Because, because you just have that advantage. Because you're, you're attractive, right? You have that yeah. quality where it's like, not only if you're a male, if you're a female mainly. And mm. I'm not trying to generalize. I'm not the type to say, uh, feminists don't come for me. But I'm not the type to say, females are this, females are that. I'm always on both sides. Mm. I consider myself somewhat a feminist. But I'm not a full feminist. But because I believe women have, you know, should 
get more rights and whatever. Well, they already have rights anyway, but they should get more rights. I mean, you. come on, man. We're in, we're in 2021. But, but if you're a female and you have some sort of attractiveness, mm. and I've seen it, bro, guys will come up to you and give you fucking opportunities. They'll give you opportunities. They'll raise you. They'll give you a raise. You, They'll give you that new job. Mm. You automatically have the advantage. You double your chance. I've you thought. double your chances, bro. Mm. I remember in uni, there was a girl that the girl be attractive in engineering. Ten guys would be around the hoop and her out. Why? Because she has and the advantage. When you think of it, let's say all else fails. Yeah. Influencer. You're hot. Influencer. 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 That's always something you're set to back for up. Life. If you're a hot girl, you are set for life. I'm telling yeah. you, if you're remotely attractive, you're set for life. You can be... You can be anything you want. You can yeah. be anything you want because... Oh, uh, look. Uh, doesn't work out. Huh. Influencer. Model. But what... what Eyelash business. But hello, you get, you get people asking, but what is attractive to you? What is attractive... Look, I'm I'm not gonna say it because you play I'm gonna get fucking I'm I'm gonna get fucking roasted, right? Because if I say what's attractive to me, everyone yeah. has their own fucking qualities. Everyone yeah. has their own everyone types. Everyone has their own preferences. But, but I think I think if you're just the the standard attractive girl, mm. that signed, sort of like a universal attractive. I don't know what a universal attractive is, but you're if you're universal attractive, and you can be considered hot in so many different countries, you automatically have the advantage because people are gonna look at you and be like, yeah, well. I mean, she's not that smart, but she she's hot. Mm. They automatically, and especially guys, if you go to a, a guy's job, that's something they lean back on. It's like my advice to you: if you're a remotely attractive female, mm. do a job that is male predominant. Male predominant. Why? Because you will succeed in that job quicker than lightning. <laughs> because they'll be quick to promote. Oh, you I, like, I agree. Yeah, yeah, yeah look, yeah, yeah, I agree. Um, look, Stacy is not that great of a worker, but. She's fucking hot. She's kind of hot. Let's go. You're hired. See you. Let's go. Look, your your interview, your answers to your answers to, you, you, your answers to the interview questions, you, they suck. But the one thing that can fuck you up, the one thing that can fuck you up is if you're an ugly female. I'm <laughs> sorry. I'm sorry. Look. Yeah, but what's ugly to you? Uh, like, ugly to me is <laughs> uh, whatever. A fucking if you're considered they're, they're an ugly female, that. if you're considered an ugly Mate, female by fucking modern standards. Then you're fucked because, like, you you probably don't have if the same. You don't meet the criteria. You probably don't meet the criteria, ugly. and guys don't want anything from you. So you're like, uh, uh, that's it, gone. So my advice to you, if you're a good, attractive female, because if you're an ugly female, mm. then you gotta work hard. You gotta fucking work hard. You gotta it's prove res- it's respectable, and it's respectable. And I respect it so much more not, than those not, attractive females that get handouts. Not let's just not even really ugly. Let's just say like. A normal, like a, an av- the average, average, looking. average person, yeah. average looking. Yeah, say no. You don't you have, have the you same advantage. Shit on yourself. But that's you that's the sad reality. You don't have the same advantage as an attractive female mm. because guys, especially guys, automatically think with their privates, and they automatically think I can get in with this person, no matter what, yeah, no yeah. matter what. Even if, like, they they constantly think in that way, and that's what makes, uh, that's what influences their decisions mm. based on emotion and based on that. Mm. So that's why it's a big thing. You, know you what could I mean? be in any situation, but. That's where a lot of men think towards. You know what? I've, I've thought about this as well. Um, one thing is about being an influencer. We talked about girls being influencers, right? Mm. I've always had this question in my mind. Would you ever go for someone that has a massive following? Would you ever go and, and like willing to marry that person if they have like, I'm talking, and when I say massive following, I'm saying like fucking hundreds like of thousands of millions. Or Not to that extent, but like hundreds of thousands of followers. I mean, yeah. Would you? It's interesting because some people would say, some people would look at it and say, wow, they have a big following. Oh, you know, they're not private with their life. Some people look at it as a red flag. Mm. And I don't see why not. I I don't don't see why they do that. Sorry. I don't see why they look at that as a red flag. I I know you could have a lot of followers, but it doesn't necessarily equate to you talking to a lot of people. That's the thing. Yeah. A lot of girls would probably think that they would avoid talking to me because they assume because I have some sort of following on TikTok and Instagram and YouTube and stuff, they automatically assume like this guy probably talks to so many females when it's probably the opposite. If you're an influencer of any sort or you're like a content creator of any sort, Mm. you're not talking to anyone. I'm sorry, but you're not unless you're in a relationship. You're not talking to anyone because if you have time to make content like this, you don't have time to talk to someone. No. But that's what females are dumb. They think, oh, or even males, vice versa. They think, oh, this person is talking to a lot of people. It's, yeah, it's... And then that's the problem. Each person would think you're talking to a lot of people, hence no one will talk to you. Mm. So you, you left with no end, one. You end up being more lonely than... <laughs> exactly, exactly. And that's the problem yeah. that comes with getting a bit of a following. People automatically think you're a fuckboy. Mm. You know, I'm, bro, I am the fucking complete opposite of a fuckboy. Yeah. I talk to no one. It's I talk to my right hand. 
<laughs> it's not only that. It's people think that if you have a following, they autom- automatically they assume, you know, you have a lot of mates, you're the shit, you know? Yeah. You have a lot of people like close mates and stuff. But that's not nece- it's not necessarily true where following equals no, friends. No, no. Because no. you look at people like, let's say, Robin Williams. Yeah, yeah. People that really got depressed when they were like on top of the world, you know, mm. big following. They had everything. And but they just ended it. They still they still felt lonely. I mean, you can yeah. have a big following, but you can still feel loneliness. Hundred percent. That's just how it is. Um, speaking of females, um, Gladys. Oh, sorry. Speaking of unattractive, <laughs> I'm joking. Hey, right? hey, hey. So, speaking of attractive females, Gladys. We're all beautiful. What the fuck happened to Gladys, bro? Completely fell off the radar. Disappeared. It's like people were like so bored in lockdown that they had nothing to talk about but Gladys. She yeah. was the most clouded person in Sydney, in Melbourne, in in everywhere I mean, in the world. Yisra, who she she she, she was the original. Gladys Yisra. was the original Yisra because people she was the original. Gather and watch her, watch her lives, watch her lives. She was the original TikTok live. The live press conferences. Give her gifts. And the case numbers were like the double two, double O, brother. Yeah, like, bro. <laughs> she was the original fucking double two, double O. Fucking Gladys. But anyway, what happened to her, bro? She's she off the right. Where, where is she now? I mean, she got caught up in that fucking... Um, oh, that's true. She got caught in that ICAC investigation. But like, then, what happened after that? What do you reckon she's doing now? I mean, sipping the cat's cocktails? out of the bag. She fucked up. So like, You reckon she's sipping cocktails on the beach somewhere? Or is she like... I feel like she's chilling somewhere, you know, by the beach. You, you know, know what? what? We're going to look back at it yeah. years down the track and be like, Gladys wasn't that bad. Mm. We're going to miss her. Look, We're going to miss like, her. I feel like it was a tough time. It, it you, was a tough you time. Would, you would, at that time, you would want to be anything but a premier or true. a prime minister. That's true. You would want to be in any position but that because... That's true. You have a whole freaking city to take care of. Pretty for much. sure, for sure. And everyone's waiting on you. What's waiting on you to make the right call and you've got to make that right decision. For so. sure. And um, yeah, hopefully we see her in the future. Did you have anything else? Um, I mean, it's like 15 seconds left, so we might as well... Might as well wrap it up. Thanks for watching, guys. This was a weird podcast. We had a lot of different everything. Yeah. But um, thanks for watching. Like, subscribe, share, comment. Everything. Love you guys. Keep going. Take keep it on, easy. Keep on Yalla. Spotify. Bye. Bye.